I've done a few videos on renting out Spark in the past, but this time around I also have to top up my UPX balance on the Spark Exchange network side of things to hire some builders. So let's go through the process together to see how easy all of this actually is. Hey there, John Henry here, SSFTG. Welcome to the video. If this is your first time on the channel, welcome my friend. I hope to earn your like and subscription today. If you aren't in Upland, it's going to be fairly tough to follow along with me, so make sure to swing over to discover.upland.me slash SSFTG to get your 6,000 starting upics, 1,500 more than other links, and a monster 50% upics bonus to your first purchase with a cap of 50,000. If you need more info, you can swing over to ssftg.com slash upland as well. Sign up today, come hang out with me and the rest of the crew in the metaverse, and get rocking and rolling. A while ago, I did a video on renting Spark from both the Spark Exchange as well as other players. And today, I want to fast track uh, one of my buildings so that I can speed up and have some Spark for resources on tomorrow's video. Uh, a little bit of a spoiler there, I guess. But So let's jump in and fund our balance here on, uh, on the Spark Exchange side of things and hire some builders. First off, obviously, if you haven't done it already, you are going to need to register on the Upic Spark Exchange. The Upic Spark Exchange is where you can rent and list and all of those different uh, builds and things. We've done videos on this before, but uh, really what we need to do is go over and list our build. But remember, when we go into the banking area, if we go into the bank logs, uh, I've only got 10,800 in here, and that's not enough to start a building. I, I've been building along with it, kind of saving up the Upics along the way, but I transitioned my Spark into a different spot. Now the building I'm specifically looking at is my 139 Voyage Mall in Venice Beach. This is my Venice Beach property that I'm building my three lineup of townhouses on. Uh, but you'll notice this one's going to take me 23 days and 16 hours and I've got 1.26 spark allocated to it of which I need an absolute minimum of 0.1 to continue the build. After hiring some builders and everything else, it shouldn't be much longer than two or three days which is absolutely incredible, right? Wow. Now, before we can set up our, our workers and fill up the bank and everything else, what we need to do is unassign our Spark for tomorrow's video so that's ready to go as well. And all we have to do for that is simply just drop this 1.26 down to 0 0.1. If I try to go below the 0 0.1, which is the minimum that you have to have to build, it won't let me. You'll see that it says the minimum requirement is 1, so we have to leave that 0 0.1 on there. That means that it's going to take 298 days for now, but we're going to fill this up with builders in a minute. So let's update this so that it's just 0.1 Spark, and we've got our Spark back, which will take a second, uh, and that'll get that all processed, and we can get that going. And now we can go into the Spark Exchange, fill up the bank, and hire some builders. To fill the bank, all we have to do is go into Deposit UPX, and then search through how much we want to deposit. Now, in this case, I've already got 10,000 in here, and I've already been working on this building, so it's not going to take that much to build this. I'm guessing it's probably going to be less than 30,000, honestly. Uh, so let's sort by deposited UPX amount. I'm not going to chance it and go with 20,000. That seems sketchy. Uh, but let's ramp up and go to like 30,000. A 30,000 deposit should put us at around 40, and that's going to be more than enough. I might even be able to get two buildings out of it if I save up a little bit more. So for this process, all we have to do is find the one that we want. In this case, it's this one. And this is going to be from 19309 Trinity Street. So we go back over into Upland. We search for this address and jump on over to it. Now, when we're on the address, we need to make sure that it's owned by the right person and it's up for sale for the right price and everything else. So if we look at this, this should be owned by Mossy Jake and it should be for sale for 37,685. So if you look at this, that's for sale, 37,685. That's perfect. So we go in and we can buy it. Now it's going to cost 39,569 quarter. And what's going to happen is after we purchase this, we're going to have a deposit into the UPX bank. And we're also going to have that property as available to us. So we can sell it back to Mossy Jake if we want to. We can sell it on the market. We can do whatever we want with it. It's ours now. But the deposit amount should be listing relatively soon. Let's go into the bank logs real quick. And there it is. It's already been updated. Now we've got 40,000 Upix to rock with. It's so easy. I love it. So now that we have some Upix in our bank account, let's hire some builders, shall we? Let's go over and we'll list a build, and we want to go into new build. Now I have a couple active builds in here, but you'll notice the one that we were looking at was 143 and 139. Now the one that I was working on was 139, 143 is the other one. Now we have both of them, they're actually both in the, uh, in the area in Venice. Let me jump over there real quick and take a look. Uh, and this will, we might actually, actually be really cool if we can get both taken care of. Uh, let's zoom in here. Venice Beach should be right there. Okay. Uh, so this guy right here is 143. And we can see that this one is 
I mean, there's only 216 days left. Uh, if we go over here, there was 290 something, I believe. Yeah, 298. So that's going to be the difference in pricing between the two. If we go over into the building side of things and we select them, you'll notice that they do have the corresponding amount of hours left. So 519 hours is remaining on this building to be completed. That's the 200 and whatever days. Uh, this is the 298 days. There's 716 hours remaining. So what we can do is we can select the build that we want to do and we want to adjust the value. For me personally, I try to get my building prices as fair as possible. Um, really, when, when I'm talking about fair, we track the fair market value on Spark and everything in the weekend review, the perks of doing our homework, right? Um, currently, the type of build for this, a flat roof house, if we look at the stats, a flat roof house is going for around 36 upics an hour at the moment. So at 36 upics an hour, that would mean that I would modify this down so that builders are getting, well, this would be 37. So I'd be paying 39. Here's the thing though, right? If we go in into the rented spark and we look at live listings, just the ones that aren't full, and we look at the pricing. The pricing on this, like the top one is 36. The pricing is terrible on some of these. It's very, very low. So even if we price structurally in the 40s, we're probably going to get filled very quickly. All right, so anyway, now that we have our bank all filled up and we know what the going rate is, I want to try to price above that. And I'd like to try to price it so that builders are getting like 40 upix an hour. That's way above all of the competition anyway. So if I do 40 upix, uh, that would uh, that means that builders are only going to get 38 though. So let's kick this up a little bit. 41, 42, 43. So 43 upix means that builders are going to get 40.85 upix, uh, which is really really good. We're probably going to get filled up while we're recording this, and it's going to cost me 22,320. So if I want to go forward with this build, all I have to do is click submit. Yes, that's correct. And what it's going to do is it's going to process it in the build list. So now if I go into the live listings, show full builds, and I rent by spark hours, you'll notice, guess who's on the top, right? Because we're paying four upics more an hour than anybody else. So chances are, once this hits the Discord server, because every time there's a new build, it hits the Discord server for builders, uh, they'll jump on and start piling in, and then we'll see them start filling up. Uh, so this is the 143 one that I just did here, and you'll notice that there's only 0.1 on there at the moment. It's just me. While we're recording this, we'll see if we can get someone to jump on board. I haven't seen the Discord message light up yet, though, so I don't think people know. Really, all that's left for us to do now is just kind of sit back and wait. Should take about two or three days or so to finish building, and uh, since we priced it competitively, it shouldn't take very long at all to get filled up. If you have any questions, topics that you'd like to see covered in a new video, epic street view submissions, or anything in between, drop them in the comments. You know I always love hearing from you all. Until the next one, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the metaverse.